Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 25. First, the input table. Employee detail table has four columns namely employee name, age, salary and department. Now the problem statement. Write a SQL query to find top two records from each department. So if you see the input table once again uh, we have the column called department where you can see there are three distinct department. One is admin, second one is finance and HR. So what the problem statement is telling it is telling to write a SQL query to find top two records from each department as shown in the output table. If you see over here for department admin there are four records in the input table we are taking top two records based on the salary similarly for finance also there are three records in the input table and I have taken out two records based on the salary similarly for HR also there are four records and based on the salary I have taken out top two records let's see how we can do this in SQL Server. We can solve this problem by using CTE. But before proceeding further, let's try to run our input table once again. So we'll run this, select star from employee detail table. And you can see these are the records in this table. If you see the department, we have basically three departments. For admin we have four rows for department uh, finance we have three rows for department HR we have four rows now we have to get top two rows in each department so in order to derive this result what we have to do we have to we have to gen uh, we have to rank these rows for each department and then we have to filter those based on the ranking so let's see how we can do by using CTE so we'll write with CTE underscore let's say top top rows as now we'll open the parenthesis and then we'll I'm going to close the parenthesis inside this parenthesis I am going to write this select a star from employee detail table and then I am going to replace this star with column name that is imp name is comma salary comma department after that I am going to use row number function row underscore number after that I'm going to use over clause and then I'm going to do partition by partition by it will be by department column so partition by department and since uh, I want uh, top two rows based on the salary. I'm going to order by Salary in the descending order And I will give alias as ranking So if you run this subquery you can see we are able to rank all the rows within the department if you see the department admin we have all the uh, all the rows getting ranking 1 2 3 4 for uh, finance department you can see we have the ranking 1 2 3 and since similarly for HR department also we got the ranking 1 2 3 4 now our, our uh, job is very easy now we can easily filter out select star from 
ct underscore top rows where ranking is less than equal to 2 so what it will do it is going to filter all the uh, rows where ranking ranking is less than equal to 2 i am going to write all the column names as well instead of star now if i run this full query here you go you got the top two rows from each department you can see admin also we are having two uh, two rows finance also we are having two rows and hr also we are having two rows so uh, now i will tell you if you do not want to use CT, cte table how you can write this sql query so now what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this query part and then i'm going to write over here and then I'm going to write select star from I'll make this as subquery let's say as a where the ranking is less than equal to 2 let's replace star with column name Now, if I run this full query, you will get the same result. So, if I, you can, you can easily compare the result of these two, CT and without CT. So, you can see you got the same result. So, that's all for this video. If you have liked my video, please do subscribe my channel and do comment in the comment section and don't forget to like. Thank you.